We are following that breaking news out of northwest Indiana where a gas leak has shut down Interstate 94 in both directions. That leak is near the Bass Pro Shop in Portage. There are no reports of injuries at this point, but roads are a mess in the Portage area. Let's begin our coverage with Christine Flores. She's live near Portage this afternoon. Christine. Lord is in Ben. Good evening. Just behind these warehouses up in the sky, you can see that gas leak underway. This is as close to the scene as officials are letting us get. But here's a look, an aerial view from the scene uh, from Skycam 9, it's showing that link, that leak, but also the portion of I-8094 that is shut down in both directions as necessary repairs are being performed. Officials say a crew was doing some underground digging, uh, also known as boring. Uh, when they hit that gas line and at the same time it's not clear if it was marked or unmarked. Nearby businesses have been evacuated as a safety precaution, but NIPSCO assures us the area is safe. Sergeant Glenn Fifield with the Indiana State Police tells us there is gas on the roadway and they don't want a car to go through and spark it, which is why the highway is closed for the time being. Now, in a statement, NIPSCO says crews have responded to a damaged gas line at 67 50 Daniel Burnham Drive in Portage, Indiana. While the area is safe, NIPSCO supervisors and crews remain on site to ensure the area's safety and are making the necessary repairs. Presently, a portion of I-80-94 shut down in both directions. We ask that you avoid the area to allow crews to perform the necessary repairs. Now, in talking to Sergeant Fifield, he did tell me that uh, there really isn't a timeline for when they expect things to be cleared up and the road to be back open. So that's why they're asking people to just have plenty of patience as if they are uh, going through this area. Now, some alternative routes that he suggested are using US 30 or the Indiana toll, toll wait for now. Reporting live out here, Christine Flores, WGN News. Christine, thanks. We want to get the latest on the situation now from Portage Mayor Austin Bonta. We understand he's joined by police and fire officials as well. First of all, is there a danger to residents who live near the gas leak area? At this time, we've been given no indication that there's any risk to um, residents living there. The immediate area is uh, closed off to allow the crews to do their work. Um, Chief uh, Candiano, I believe, also has some details about why the, a certain area is evacuated, but not the rest. Yeah, so uh, when we arrived on scene, we actually worked with the, the fire department um, and NIPSCO to determine the area that we needed to secure. So we did that pretty pretty quickly with the uh, businesses that were in that area, got those evacuated, and then we were able to determine that the residential areas and some of the other areas and um, some of the other uh, areas around there were, were safe, according to uh, what NIPSCO was telling us at that time. Um, however, we did shut down the uh, I-94 based on uh, recommendation from the fire department, which is uh, causing major traffic delays in the area at this point. Yeah, I'm wondering if you could talk about if you've ever dealt with a leak of this size and location before and sort of your level of concern at this point as to when you think this will be taken care of and what residents should know. So it's been quite a while since we've had to deal with any kind of gas leak uh, of this magnitude. Uh, it was a relatively large line. Um, hopefully uh, everything does get opened up pretty quickly. Uh, gas monitoring has been taking place at the scene, uh, south of the scene in the direction of the wind travel. Um, we're fairly confident that the public is safe and that as long as the conditions stay the way that they are currently, that everything will be wrapping up shortly and there won't be any, any other concerns. Um, this is something that uh, we train for and we have good connections with NIPSCO and the communication between NIPSCO, uh, the mayor's office, the police department was very seamless and uh, so we handled it as, as efficiently as we could. Living in the area that we do, we live in an industrial area that's got a big highway running through it. Our Portage Police, our Portage Fire, as Chief Crail said, we prepare for this sort of thing. Nothing exactly prepares you for it, but yeah. I think that today was a demonstration of just how much efficiency there is in clear communication between our police and fire. And of course, our willingness to cooperate with anybody, company, 
in this case, NIPSCO um, necessary to make sure that the public is safe and that areas that need to be closed off are closed off. Uh, let me ask the fire chief real quickly, because as I've covered gas leaks over the year, normally it's clear and odorless. Uh, why are we seeing, I, I don't know if that's dirt being pushed into the air or if that's smoke. Why does it yeah, look so like this? You're exactly right, because where, where they struck the line is approximately six to seven feet underground. And so everything that you are seeing blow up into the air is loose earth around the, the pipe. Okay. All right. Well, we will continue to monitor the situation and bring you more live pictures. We thank all three of you for your time this afternoon. Good luck. Thank you, thank so you. Much. Appreciate it.